I'm filming. Hey guys, happy Friday. We did it, a whole week of working out at home, and you're probably still sore. Looks like you can get a good workout in without having to be at the gym all the time. Our neighbor. All right, today we're going to be doing something super fun. We're going to be lifting with a broomstick, kettlebells, dumbbells, barbell, whatever you have, um, but it's gonna be great. So, the warm up. Three sets, we're just warming up our muscles and we're also warming up our heart rate a little bit, getting the blood pumping, but one thing I want you to focus on is the things you do in the warm up, even though everything's gonna be light today, always do everything in the warm up with the exact same intensity in the exact same way that you're gonna do it in the workout. So 10 pass-throughs, and on the pass-throughs, you can use a, um, I don't know if you have like a resistance band even, or you can use your broomstick. If you have PVC pipe, if you wanna run down to Lowe's and grab one, anything will work. Um, 10 clean pulls, straight arms, 10 clean high pulls, elbows come up high and outside, and then 10 muscle cleans, so we're not re-dipping, we're going straight up, a lot of upwards leg drive and quick elbows under and around. And then 10 front squats. Um, part B of this is gonna be that we move in after we're done with the three sets into our squat clean, coming from the mid-shin position right here. We'll go over that in one second. <laughs> but also we're gonna be doing overhead squats. So for both of these, it's gonna be five sets of 10 reps. We're resting, we're not resting. We're pausing, active pause at the bottom of that squat for five seconds every rep. I want you to keep your hamstrings engaged. I want you to be driving your knees out, core tight, driving up overhead on those overhead squats. It's gonna be great. Um, the workout, we will actually, so before the workout, we do have a skill work. It's too much to write on this board, man. Skill work, so it's double unders. Again, we did this earlier in the week, so we're gonna kind of change it up a little bit, but kind of working on the same thing still. So if you're proficient at double unders, you're gonna be doing an EMOM of 10 minutes. Every single minute, you're gonna be doing 60 double unders. Strive for unbroken sets, and then you're gonna rest that next minute. Intermediate is the same thing. You're gonna start off with a 10 minute EMOM, uh, but you're gonna do 20 to 25 double unders. Try to um, do a little bit more than you did last time. And then for beginners, anyone still really trying to get their first reps of double unders, you're gonna be doing a 10 minute EMOM, but on minute one, you're just gonna accumulate as many reps up to 10 reps, and then you're gonna stop there. Um, focus on the wrist movement and really thinking about jumping high and slow um, you're going to be jumping the same speed, but you, of course, are spinning the rope faster. I like to think about jumping up and trying to look over a really tall fence so it gets me to jump straight up and really trying to, like, stay tall. Uh, for the Metcon, broom stick thrusters. When I read this, you can laugh. It's hilarious, okay? But they're still going to be great. <laughs> and then broom stick facing burpees which are terrible no matter whether you have a barbell or not, okay? Um, so 21, 15, nine of those together. If you have dumbbells, a kettlebell, a barbell, you can absolutely substitute those things in for those thrusters. Uh, single arm dumbbell or kettlebell thrusters or a plate thruster if you've got a plate, really anything weighted, honestly. Um, so that is gonna be the workout. Intensity is everything. When we're doing stuff that's lighter, you're just gonna have to go harder. This is gonna be over really, really fast, so I don't care whether you have to like get a friend on a call. Can I phone a friend? You can't phone a friend. Who are you gonna phone? Peter. On Zoom put it on Instagram Live, Facebook Live it, whatever you need to do for accountability, go freaking hard. All right? That's the workout. Let's do it. Obviously a barbell is ideal, but you can work on these movements with literally anything and get better. So, one thing I wanna talk about on here, and just make a point of it because as most of you know who have seen me in the gym, I've been doing a lot of PT work for my shoulder, just some regular shoulder impingement, um, overuse for a lot, a lot of years, doing things a little bit wrong. I wanna talk to you really quickly about what I've been learning in my PT sessions that can help you 
really target healthy movement patterns and focus on how you are catching and loading the weight in your overhead squat because when you come back into the gym and you're lifting heavy weight, this can be the difference of a PR or not for you. So. so one thing I've been learning that's really, really important is it's so easy for us to externally rotate our shoulders as opposed to driving up. So it's the difference of being here versus here. It's a very small shift, but we wanna catch it and turn on these lats and squeeze our back as we go down into a squat. It's kind of uncomfortable, but the more that I've been focusing on it and building up my upper back muscles, the easier it's gotten. So when you drive this bar up overhead, we're gonna be actively pressing up the whole time. Open up those armpits and almost think about pushing your biceps up into the ceiling. You're gonna squeeze those back muscles. So as you go down into the squat, press up, press up, squeeze, 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 really pushing back and driving up. We can get caught here and I want you to turn out and press up. When you're down at the bottom, we are staying in the squat hold for five seconds. So you're going to have that big breath, go down, let it out, and then come back up. Just really focus on squeezing those back muscles, driving up, pressing actively. It's going to make the difference between you catching in a poor position and learning to catch really, really strong.